since we were just filming the video on how to do a narrow three thread overlock edge, I thought this would be a perfect time to just go ahead and show you the five thread safety stitch. Now this is a stitch that because it's built into your machine, I think we need to all try it and see that it is such a great stitch. And now with the air threading system, it makes it really easy to switch from just doing a three thread to doing this five thread stitch. So I will be adding the extra needle back on. So I am gonna be using the yellow thread. So we'll start by putting it there. We are going to be adding on the chain stitch looper in purple. So that's why you have five spool holders in the back here. So that one's gonna go on the last location. Now again, it doesn't matter what order you thread this serger in. So I'm going to just start by taking the needle that I had removed, but this time instead of putting it back next to the current needle, let's go ahead and pull up the five thread safety stitch narrow. That's stitch number two. And with that, I do see all the settings that I need to be doing. Plus, this is going to be good for joining with a reinforced stitch and overcasting all in one step. You're also going to get a wider seam allowance. So see right here where it shows us where to put the needle? Now note, it is actually in the middle position. So see where there's the three little ovals on the front part of the foot? It's in front of the current needle. We will be placing the needle in the position of the middle location, and that is is considered the D location. So if you have your needle threader handy, take the time to place the needle into the end where the needle threader can hold the needle and then lower, I always lower the point down into the position that I wanna be using and then straight up. It's a lot easier to find that way. Now these screws are going to be secured, meaning they're pushed in all the way. So the first thing I'm then gonna need to do is actually unscrew it enough so that the needle needle will slide into its highest position. Find the screw next to the letter D, unscrew it. With a little pressure, I'm pushing up on the needle, and as soon as it becomes loose enough, then the needle goes all the way to the highest position. Then I can tighten it to hold it in place. Now, all we have to do is thread that needle just like we would normally thread that kind of outside needle location. Make sure your presser foot is up when threading your needles or anytime you're threading the machine. That makes sure your tension discs are completely open. Slip it behind one of those guides and then don't forget, use your needle threader to thread that needle. And we do have a video for how to use the needle threader so you don't have to work so hard. Just push it in, slide it in, and then I always use tweezers to kind of pull that loop through the back and all the way out. Now I'm gonna just leave this thread right here because the next thing we need to do is open up the front door. We're gonna go ahead and engage the air tube. So slide this lever to the far left and turn the hand wheel until you get a click. If you have to, you might have to turn that hand wheel for a full revolution. Now I'm gonna thread the purple thread and this will guide us to the same similar locations as when we were doing the other loopers. Same thing, find the guide right here, add a little bit of thread down the purple location here. If it's a little staticky, give it a little bit of push. Make sure that the thread is kind of puddled in front and then go ahead and push the button to make it go all the way through. I can see that it came out the cover stitch or chain stitch looper. So I'm done, just push that lever back to the right and close the door. So everything is actually ready to stitch. So just take your fabric, fold it in half, and let's go ahead and stitch and see how a five thread actually looks on the fabric. You're gonna see both a seam and an overcast stitch all together and it will produce a wider finished seam allowance. So you have the extra needle thread that's further away from our three thread overlock edge. That's just doing what it normally does, but this extra seam is partnered with that purple thread that creates a chain stitch. Now it's a two thread chain stitch, so it's very secure, and you can serge this just like you would serge a regular four thread. You can start without fabric underneath the needle, and you can go ahead and serge right on through 
and even use the knife like we've been doing to cut it off. And just like that, you have a wider seam allowance plus a very secure seam when sewing fabrics together. This is also good when you're working with fabrics that have stretch and you don't want them to stretch. This extra chain stitch that's being added is a security stitch. So it doesn't have the give that our normal four thread or three thread overlock edge has. It's actually gonna prevent it from kind of stretching out and getting longer. This is good at shoulder seams that you don't wanna have like getting longer and longer as you wear them. And even side seams. If you look inside your jeans next time you are uh, peeking on the inside, you're gonna find a five thread surged seam where they've overlocked it and seamed it all at once. And that's why they can sew clothes so much quicker in the factory. So if you haven't tried a five thread yet, next time you set up for a three thread, narrow or wide, go ahead and switch it over to stitch number two or one, depending if you're doing wide or narrow, and then give the five thread a try.